Supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while. See those stars winking down at you? It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. Alice had a phobia, the fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. The lights are on! Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay, I'll look around a bit. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Alice? Honey? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past... Damn it, Alice, you... Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it! I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. <sighs> damn it. <sighs> Alice? cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice! I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! No! What the Alan! hell?
Oh, no! Keep going, Alice. <gasps> Wake up. Alice? Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Hello? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Nightfall! Oh, hell. Carl... Ducky, please to meet you. Non-refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. <laughs> I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. During your... Come on.